She's doing blast cells, Frank. Oh no, we reached this point already? Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie, and welcome to HeMed. I know blast cells cause everyone to panic, but there's no need for it. With a bit of knowledge and confidence, they won't be as fear-inducing. Blast cells are very immature cells, and are usually only seen in the bone marrow. In all the previous basic videos, they are the cell stage before you can usually identify what type of cell it will be. Fully identifying what cell line is usually impossible without special stains or flow cytometry, except if a certain identifier is present, which I'll explain later in this video. Blast cells have a very loose chromatin pattern. Compare it to a cell that you definitively know is mature to gauge how loose the chromatin is as a guide. The nucleus will have nucleoli, usually one, but in some situations, many. The nucleus to cytoplasm ratio or NC ratio will be very high, meaning the cell is made up of mostly nucleus with small to scant cytoplasm showing, usually. You will notice that with every statement I make, I'll add a disclaimer, such as usually. This is because with blast cells, you also need to take into consideration the context of why there are blast cells in the peripheral blood in the first place. If the blast cells are due to say a really bad infection or the patient has been given GCSF since they are on chemotherapy, the blast cells will look relatively normal. The body is reacting to a situation. These cells will be able to mature and do a job. Now, if the blast cells are due to a leukemic process, these cells do not look correct. These cells did not read the textbook and will look like whatever they want to. Context is important and looking at and knowing the patient's history is essential, as well as knowing what the current CBC looks like. These give you the context of the situation you are seeing the blast cell. There are two types of blast cells, lymphoblasts and myeloblasts. I know you're thinking, shouldn't you have given that information at the beginning of the video? Well, yes and no. In school, you are taught that you can seemingly tell the two blast types apart by size and appearance, but the only true way to differentiate visually is if the cell has hour rods or not. Hour rods are fused primary granules. They are usually rods, but they can be round. If you see one in a blast cell, you can definitively call it a myeloblast. But here's the kicker, if you don't see them, you can't say whether that blast cell is lymphoid or myeloid without special stains or flow cytometry. This is what school does not emphasize. Cells don't read textbooks. So that blast cell you for sure think is a lymphoblast could be myeloid. So please, unless you see our odds, just call it a blast cell. So today, we opened the book on blast cells and went over what they look like on the slide. In the next videos, we will continue our exploration of hematology cells and disorders. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe for future content. References available in the description box. Thank you for watching. Until next time.